Introducing the Plural Politics Test. The principle of this test is that people's politics are far more nuanced than other political quizzes would lead us to believe. Where other tests reduce the whole constellation of your political beliefs to one little point on a grid, the Plural Politics Test shows you the plurality of your political associations, even when they contradict one another. Unlike other tests of its kind, the Plural Politics Test refuses to reduce your politics to a simplistic label. Think of it this way. These two people take a political test. It's a test whose result is a point on a grid. But when their individual answers are charted, they look like this. That test would give each one the same exact result. It would term them both centrists and call it a day. But these are clearly rather different types of people. One person has eclectic views that would be hard to predict. The other person has predictable, middle-of-the-road views. The plural politics test accounts for this difference. This person is moderate, while this one is expansive. What it all comes down to is that we're all more than a lonely point on a graph. We contain a whole set of views. Many times, our views even contradict with one another. As the poet Walt Whitman wrote, Do I contradict myself? Very well then, I contradict myself. I am large. I contain multitudes. Why is this test important? Look around. Overly rigid thinking, overly ideological thinking, is running rampant. For a variety of reasons, people are getting boxed into ideological teams that are all or nothing. You're either with us or against us. It's driving people apart and limiting genuine thought. Healthy pluralism and diverse viewpoints are getting crowded out by knee-jerk reactions, groupthink, and resentment. So rethinking what it means to be political is crucial. The Plural Politics Test is helping people do that. It's a test meant to bring awareness to political flexibility, growth, and civic understanding. Your test result is a graph depicting your political sentiments across four areas. These will sound familiar to many. Right economics, left economics, liberty loving, and authority respecting. Your political views expand outward in all directions, reflecting your plurality. Based on your graph, you'll get some insights about two aspects of your politics. One is your degree of political assertiveness. That's a measure of the overall breadth of your results. You can think of this as a measure of how ready you are to take a political stance on an issue. Are you strongly political, or are you more moderate and reserved in your judgments? The other aspect of your politics is your viewpoint diversity. This refers to how many political perspectives you appreciate and value. Are you eclectic, appreciating all sorts of viewpoints? Or are you more exclusive, with a firm sense of what, to you, is right and wrong? By combining your results from those two aspects of your politics, we can say a little more about your political personality. Are you a moderate centrist or an expansive pluralist? Or are you a soft ideologue or maybe a hard ideologue? Take the test and find out. After you get your results, spread the word and share your results. Check out the Expand page. That's where you'll find educational resources that you can use to expand your political horizons. You can also join our Discord to discuss your results with others and get personally involved with the research behind the project. You're more than a point on a graph. You're a person. You're more than a number in an oversimplified poll. You are a human being. Let's show the world that we all contain multitudes. Try it out for yourself. Take the test at pluralpolitics.com.